Is it possible that we are not alone in this vast universe? The question has tantalized humankind since the dawn of civilization. Ancient societies, in their quest to understand the cosmos, often looked to the stars and saw gods. The Greeks, for instance, believed their pantheon of deities resided in the heavens, each governing a planet or constellation. The Mayans, too, held the celestial bodies in high esteem. They meticulously tracked the movements of Venus, believing it to be a harbinger of war and strife. Across the world, the Indians construed their gods as celestial beings, descending from the stars to interact with mankind. These age-old beliefs, while shrouded in mythology, hint at an innate human curiosity about life beyond Earth. As we trace the trajectory of our ancestors' stargazing, we find inklings of the question that still haunts us today. As we venture further into history, our understanding and beliefs about life beyond Earth evolve. The birth of modern astronomy changed our perspective on the cosmos. It's a remarkable journey that began over 400 years ago with the invention of the telescope. This instrument, in the hands of the curious and daring, would forever alter our understanding of the universe. One such daring individual was Galileo Galilei. He pointed his telescope towards the stars, and what he saw was nothing short of revolutionary. He discovered moons orbiting Jupiter, proving not everything revolved around the Earth. This shattered the Earth-centric view of the cosmos, which had held sway for centuries. Then came Johannes Kepler, who took up the mantle and continued to push the boundaries of our celestial understanding. He formulated the laws of planetary motion, showing that planets moved in elliptical orbits around the Sun, not circular as previously believed. This was another nail in the coffin of the Earth-centric universe. But perhaps the most exciting revelation was the concept of other worlds. Through their telescopes, astronomers saw that planets were not unique to our solar system. There were other planets orbiting other stars, potentially teeming with life. The cosmos was not a static, unchanging backdrop, but a dynamic, ever-evolving stage on which countless worlds were playing out their celestial dramas. And so, the birth of modern astronomy didn't just change our understanding of the cosmos, it changed our place within it. It made us realize that we were not the center of everything, but just a small part of a much larger, grander universe. Astronomy opened our minds to the possibilities of life beyond Earth. The space age brought a new dimension to our quest for extraterrestrial life. It was a time when humanity took its first real steps into the cosmos, pushing the boundaries of what was known and unknown. In the late 1950s, the launch of Sputnik by the Soviet Union opened the doors to this new era. This was the first artificial satellite to orbit our planet, a testament to human ingenuity and a sign of what was to come. Then, in the late 60s, we ventured further. The Apollo moon landings, led by the United States, not only marked the first human footprints on another celestial body, but also expanded our understanding of the moon, its composition, and its history. These missions sparked a renewed interest in the cosmos, raising new questions about the existence of life beyond our planet. In the late 70s, the Voyager missions took us even further into the unknown. These spacecrafts, Voyager 1 and 2, journeyed to the outer planets of our solar system, sending back invaluable data and images. They gave us our first close-up views of distant worlds, and their discoveries continue to shape our understanding of the solar system. These pivotal moments in the space age have profoundly influenced our perception of the universe and our place within it. They have fueled our curiosity and our relentless pursuit of knowledge. Our quest for knowledge continues with more questions than answers. In the search for life, we've looked not just for planets, but for signs of intelligence. Enter the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, or SETI, 
a collective term for the scientific search for intelligent extraterrestrial life. For over six decades, SETI has been scanning the skies with an array of sophisticated equipment, hoping to pick up signals from advanced civilizations beyond our own planet. The mission of SETI is simple but profound – to explore, understand, and explain the origin and nature of life in the universe, and to apply the knowledge gained to inspire and guide present and future generations. It's a quest that combines the scientific disciplines of astronomy, physics, and biology with the human desire to understand our place in the cosmos. One of the most famous events in SETI's history is the WOW signal. Detected in 1977, this powerful, unexplained radio signal from space lasted for 72 seconds and has never been observed again. The source, nature, and even existence of the WOW signal remain a mystery, but it serves as a tantalizing hint of what might be out there. But for all the signals and sounds we've detected, definitive proof of extraterrestrial intelligence remains elusive. Yet, SETI remains undeterred. The vastness of the universe suggests that we're unlikely to be alone, and so, armed with curiosity and scientific rigor, the search continues. The discovery of exoplanets has brought new hope in the search for life. These celestial bodies, orbiting stars beyond our own solar system, are the hidden gems of the cosmos. For years, they were just theoretical. But now, they're part of our galactic reality. Our understanding of exoplanets has been revolutionized by the concept of the habitable zone or the Goldilocks zone. Imagine this as an area around a star where conditions are just right, not too hot, not too cold, but just right for life as we know it to potentially exist. This zone allows for the possibility of liquid water, a key ingredient for life. Scientists are using this knowledge to identify potential life-bearing planets. They're studying exoplanets in the habitable zones of their respective stars, looking for signs of water, oxygen, and other life-friendly conditions. Take the TRAPPIST-1 system, for instance. Located a mere 40 light-years away, this system hosts seven Earth-sized planets, three of which are in the habitable zone. It's a tantalizing prospect for astrobiologists and space enthusiasts alike, a symbol of the limitless potential of the universe. As we continue to explore these distant worlds, we're not just looking for planets, we're also searching for a sense of connection, a spark of recognition, a hint that we are not alone in the vast cosmic ocean. The universe is vast and the possibilities are endless. The search for life on exoplanets is not just a scientific endeavor, but a testament to our human curiosity and our unending quest to understand our place in the cosmos. Our knowledge is constantly evolving, and recent discoveries have brought exciting possibilities. Imagine for a moment that you're standing on the surface of Venus. It's a harsh, inhospitable place, and yet in 2024, scientists detected something remarkable in its atmosphere, phosphine gas. On Earth, phosphine is produced by bacteria living in oxygen-starved environments. Could this be a sign of life on Venus? The debate is ongoing, but the discovery has undoubtedly ignited a spark of hope. Now let's journey to Mars, our red neighbor, a place astronomers have long scrutinized for signs of life. In the past decade, rovers have confirmed the existence of liquid water in Mars's past. More recently, in 2023, scientists discovered signs of seasonal water flow on the Martian surface. Water is essential for life as we know it. Could Mars have once harbored life, or perhaps still does, beneath its rusty sands? These discoveries have not only expanded our understanding of our solar system, but also fueled our quest for extraterrestrial life. Each revelation serves as a tantalizing clue in the cosmic puzzle, pushing us to probe deeper into the universe's mysteries. As we continue to explore, 
to question, to discover, one thing is certain. Our search for life beyond Earth is far from over. With every new piece of information, we inch closer to understanding our place in this vast, incredible universe. Every discovery brings us one step closer to answering the question, are we alone? The search for life beyond Earth is far from over. As we've journeyed through the cosmos in this conversation, we've discovered a tapestry of knowledge stitched together by the threads of curiosity, innovation, and discovery. In the beginning, our ancestors gazed upon the cosmos, their beliefs and narratives shaped by the stars. Fast forward to the birth of modern astronomy, where the telescope became our window into the universe, revealing that the Earth was not the center of everything. As we ventured into the space age, we began to physically explore the universe, sending probes and rovers to other planets and moons. We launched the SETI program, our ears finely tuned to the cosmic radio, hoping to catch whispers of extraterrestrial intelligence. Our gaze then turned to exoplanets and the habitable zone, the cosmic Goldilocks scenario where conditions might just be right for life as we know it. And most recently, our journey has been marked by incredible discoveries. From potential signs of microbial life on Mars to the detection of Earth-like planets in distant solar systems. Each step has been a leap in our understanding, each discovery a reminder of our place in the grand cosmic narrative. So are we alone in the universe? The answer remains elusive, but one thing is for certain, our quest for knowledge will continue.